So in Unity's default character controller, there is this slope limit field. By default, it's set to 45, so if it's less than that, we can walk on that slope, and if it's more, we can't. And if we jump on such a steep slope, we'll just stand there doing nothing, because there's just no built-in support for slope sliding in the character controller component, just like there is no support for gravity, for example. If you remember, in the first video in this series, we had to add support for gravity ourselves. Luckily, slope sliding is going to be very easy to add. We'll just detect the ground below the player and we'll look at the angle between the player and the ground. And if that angle is greater than the slope limit, then we'll modify player's velocity to make the player slide. So in our player script, in the update ground method, we're going to call a new method called update slope sliding. In this new method, we're going to check if we are grounded and if we are, we're going to cast a sphere downwards. To calculate the center of that sphere, we are dividing the controller's height by 2 and subtracting the controller's radius from it. And then to get the actual point in the world's coordinates, we're subtracting it from our player's position. And now that we have this point, we can do the sphere cast. There are quite a lot of arguments here, so let's go over them one by one. The first one is the point that we're casting from. The second one is the radius of the sphere that we're casting. Here we're using a value slightly smaller than our player's capsule's radius, so that we can't touch any walls with this sphere. The next one is the direction we're casting down. Next is the variable that's going to hold the hit result of this cast if it hits anything. 0.5 is the distance in meters, so it means that we're casting 5 centimeters down. The next one is the layer mask, and for this one to work, we need to make sure that our player actually has the player layer. If you need to add a new layer, you can click here to edit. And the still the sign here means bitwise not. So basically what it means is that we're interested in anything that is not on the player layer. If we don't do this, the first hit will obviously be the player, because we're casting from inside of the player's capsule. And the last argument means that we're not interested in triggers, because obviously only a solid collider can be our ground. A trigger can't be. If this cast hits anything, we're gonna take the angle between the up vector and the normal vector and put it into a variable. And you know what, before we add the slope sliding, let's first visualize some things to get a better understanding of what's going on. We can visualize the normal vector like so, just to make sure that it is what we are expecting it to be. And let's also draw the current angle on screen. Now, unfortunately, there is no debug draw text in Unity. It would be nice to have it, but unfortunately, you can only draw text on GUI or on Dragismos. What we can do, though, as a quick hacky workaround, is we can add a new action called on next draw gizmos. And on draw gizmos, we can call all of the delegates and we can reset it. And now in our slope sliding method, we can say that on next draw gizmos, we want to set the GUI color to black and draw a label a little bit higher than our player's position. And it's going to show whatever the current angle value is. The handles class itself is from the Unity editor namespace. So let's not forget to include that. And now, as you can see, it shows us that here, for example, the angle is 35 and here it's 46. And if this angle is greater than the controller's slope limit, which is currently 45 degrees, then we will make the player slide. And keep in mind that we are already applying gravity separately, so here we're just changing the horizontal velocity. For a slope that is not super steep, the y component of the normal vector will be big, and so y inverse will be small. And so when we multiply y inverse by the normal x, it's not going to be a big value, so we'll just slide a little bit. And for a steep slope, the normal y will be small, so y inverse will be big, so the player will slide more. 